some of you have been asking for my skincare routine so in this video i'm going to cut 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 that's not the video hello my loves i'm tife i love everything art i love justin sky and i do not like semo i've been told that a creative gets closer to their audience when they familiarize themselves with each other so today i'm going to be telling you some facts about me as i do my makeup going to be tough because i never talk and do my makeup i never do my makeup and make a video at the same time i feel like i'm going to talk too much or not talk enough i've never done this before so i'm all over the place but anyways let's get to it let's start with the basics my name is adesoye bolua tife i don't like my name like i prefer when people call me call my name a fool Bolo Atife or Tife, please don't call me Bolu. A lot of my friends that know me from like secondary school days or people that are closest to me call me Bolu, but they are goats. Like I, I believe in calling people what they want to be called. It's their name. I am 22. I'll be 23 in November. I cannot believe that I am saying that I'll be 23 in November. <laughs> what were we thinking when we said we wanted to grow up? Take me back to 19. I believe that we can all agree that 19 is that age. I studied medical physiology in uni. I finished December 2021. I just concluded my service year and I'm currently working as a product designer. I am the firstborn of two, the only daughter. That's another thing I hate. Not the daughter part, the firstborn part. We all need therapy. I've never felt like wanting a sister. I and my mom have always been close, so she kind of feels like my sister. I don't really like filming. I can do it for other people, but doing it for myself is just so, so stressful. Like having to set up the camera, then go behind the camera and talk, then come back again to set up the camera is stressful. When I have enough money to put together a team, a videographer is definitely top of that list. What I really, really enjoy is editing. Like putting together clips to tell a story, having to decide what emotions I want to invoke in the viewers. It's just so, so beautiful. Like the coming together of everything is so beautiful. Like I love it so much. My love language to other people is buying gifts. If you are my friend and I've not gotten you something, I promise I have a valid, valid reason. Presently, I'm not able to do it in the capacity that I would love to but i do try i love gifting people things i can actually dance like i'm a badass dancer i did dance on my six but 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 let me speak let me speak <laughs> i feel like i and the chair have a chemistry and they don't want me to share it with the ground when i stand up anyways i consider myself the life of the party well maybe not life of the party life of the that's my insecurity jumping out. That's the lamb, the life of the party. <laughs> Maybe not full blown life of the party, but you cannot be with me and not have a good time. You can ask my friends, they are always giggling when they are around me. I also consider myself a very funny woman. I think that BS of women not being funny is forced as fuck. I can also not watch movies without subtitles. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I need my subtitles. Without subtitles, I go deaf and even blind. I can't hear. I can't see. For subtitles, it is not a want, it's a need. I'm also not a morning person. I like to sleep. I'm so sorry, but why are you giggling? Why are you happy by 7 o'clock in the morning? What is funny? Do you not want to sleep more? I love skincare and makeup a lot. I know you can already tell by now. Um, makeup is more time consuming, so I have not been doing it that much. And skincare is so soothing, it makes me so happy. I love it a lot. I want to be a skincare creator, but I don't think I know so much yet. I said that to a friend of mine some months ago, and she was like, What do you mean by you don't know a lot? You know so much. Uh, is it by all the things that I post on IG stories once in a while or on my WhatsApp once in a while? I don't think I know so, so much. Like, if I want to be a creator, like, I would want to be, like, advanced. Like, it will not be a situation where somebody comes to me with a question and I will not be able to answer. And presently, I don't have enough time to learn. Skincare is also so expensive. Like, for me to be a skincare creator, you have to buy skincare products and review. Like that, I don't have enough money to be buying products. 
I also love fashion a lot. Like having to dress up, looking great. Oh my god, count me in. I'm a very strong good person. If I put my mind to something, there is 100% guarantee that I'm going to do that thing. My mom is always saying, meaning that it's whatever is in your mind that you want to do. She says it negatively because they're always advising, don't do this, don't do this. But I have a strong intuition and I know when something is for me or when something is not for me. Sometimes it comes off as me being stubborn, but I'm very glad that sometimes I have been stubborn. My blind spot is that I cannot differentiate between jeans and gist. <laughs> like i interchange the j and the g i'll finally get it when i write it down but initially i always always interchange it some people's blind spot is that they don't know how to differentiate between horizontal and vertical some people can don't know their left from their right some people cannot differentiate um pink and orange so what is your blind spot tell me in the comments my favorite kind of people are kind people like little acts of kindness shows my heart so so much speaking about people i love my main soft like the caliber of people that i have liked or crushed on are soft people and by soft i don't mean like a bolo or somebody that does not know their words that cannot i mean people that know their words people that can stand their ground people that are very assertive but at the same time they are very gentle in their approach they are kind in their approach they are gentle in the way they speak in the way they do things Soft in everything. My ideal type of guy will be an average hated guy. Like I don't care much for tall guys. But don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I've been with a tall guy. I've liked tall guys. I mean it's sexy, it's attractive. As a matter of fact, if you see the Fedes way with a tall guy tomorrow. Cause love happened, love happened, you know. What I'm just trying to say is that I'm not so faced about I. I'm more likely to be with a average heighted guy than be with a tall guy. With a tall guy, it's more of his face or his personality before the eye. At the end of the day, shall these things don't matter much if you don't vibe. If you don't vibe, if you don't make me laugh, if you are not smart, we can't have conversations, if you are not kind, come up on my face. If you ask me who my celebrity crush is, I'm most likely to call a woman's name. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Have you seen women? Women are gorgeous! Speaking of women, I am a feminist. Yes, we do feminism over here. Women's rights is sitting on top of my head. As a matter of fact, I think we should all be feminists. See, the concept of feminism is quite simple. And I think that a lot of people actually understand. They just don't want to agree. What I also find a little bit ridiculous is when people say that, Oh, I support women's rights. I do, I'm not just a feminist. What do you mean by that? If you support women's rights, you are a feminist. I understand that people don't want to associate with this modern day term of feminism because people that say that they are feminists are supposedly people that hate men. They are angry feminists. But let's talk. What is not to be angry about? No, think about everything that women are going through. Are we not supposed to be angry? If you claim that you don't actually understand the concept of feminism, I will school you, maybe this being the first and the last. Feminism is advocacy for women's rights. Feminism is inclusion of women in society. Women could not vote. Women could not own properties. Women could not go to school. In some parts of the world, women cannot go to school. You'll be killed. What are you looking for? Women cannot talk in a gathering of men. Who are you? Sit down. That's how terrible it was and how terrible it still is in some parts of the world. I even heard that until recently in Nigeria, women could not post bill. Now imagine how, imagine you being in that situation where maybe your dad is no longer uh, in the picture and we all know how the system of Nigerian police is. You get carried for something that you did not do. Now your mother has to start looking for somebody that is a man to come and help her post bill. How does that make sense? Women are at the mercy of men for a lot of things. Feminism is saying no. Stop treating us as subpar. Stop treating us as substandard human beings. In some companies, a woman cannot be MD. In some companies, a woman 
and a man will be due for promotion and the man will keep advance, advancing the woman will stay wherever she is i even heard that in ayc ayc some people contested for president a girl won and they told her to step down for the man a woman cannot lead women are too emotional you are very stupid You're a very stupid individual if you think about everything that you have access to as a man think of it being taken away from you that is how women feel on a daily basis it is not even about things being taken away from us we never had them in the first place i also want you guys to know that feminism is not taking away from men feminism is giving to women the things or rights to things that they are supposed to have in the first place ah. I have given up on trying to learn how to draw brows. As a matter of fact, I prefer these feathery brows. So we're going to not judge my brows and leave it as it is. Okay? Okay. I love romance a lot. Like guys telling themselves that they love each other. Guys hugging themselves. I love it so much. I promote it. Cheers to romance. Whenever people ask me what my pet peeves are, I usually go blank. Like I usually do not know what to say. But for the purpose of this video, I've written it down. You know that thing that they do in videos where they say, please turn around, give us a 360. I hate it. If you come to me and tell me to give you a 360, I'll give you a very dirty slap. I don't know like it. It is embarrassing. It is I find it degrading. I don't like it. I also do not like mean girls. What do you mean by you're 25, you're 30 years old and you're being a mean girl? Are you in GSS too? I do not like people that are mean or necessarily unkind. I also used to be so obsessed. Not obsessed. I loved Sia a lot. I was obsessed with her white and black wigs. I said I was going to make one for myself that time. I probably might still make one for myself. I always, always have a favorite cereal bowl. If I stay somewhere for more than two months, I'm going to turn a bowl to a cereal bowl. That is going to be the only bowl that I used to take cereal. I forgot to say, but I also don't like tough love. Let's assume that I am not feeling well, and then somebody, maybe my friend, comes to ask me, have you taken your drugs? And I'm like, no, I've not taken my drugs. And they start to shout at me that, no, that's why you're sick now, because you don't take care of yourself. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I mean, that situation does not describe it well. Let's assume that I'm in traffic and I'm pressing my phone. Everybody knows Lagos now. You should not press your phone in traffic, especially if you are by the window side. And then instead of somebody telling me, um, obviously me, I know this, I'm just saying, instead of somebody saying, hey, see, stop pressing your phone, they can snatch it. Somebody will now come and say, leave her now, may she see the person, she go learn, blah, blah, blah. Why do you think that I have to learn? Why do you think that I have to feel pain about the situation before I learn from it? I feel like these examples that I'm giving is not giving justice to what I mean by tough love. But I just prefer when you correct me with love, with kindness. If you are doing tough love, it does not work for me. I, like, if I, you, you don't get through to me. I don't see the love that you are showing me. I just see somebody that is being me. I also love travel. I've never left Nigeria, but by the grace of God, I am going to leave Nigeria and travel to a lot of places. 
top of the list of the places I want to travel to is New York, Hong Kong, Japan, Morocco, Italy. Even if I heard that they are very racist in Italy, but when we go, the blood of Jesus is going to cover us. I want to travel to a lot of places, experience new people, eat new food, eat a lot of food from different cultures. The top of the list of the reason why I want to be rich is so that I can eat what I want when I want. I love food a lot and I just want to eat. I've never done a birthday photo shoot. I don't like my birthdays. I always have birthday depression. That story for another day, but I've never done a birthday photo shoot. Bonus points. I love architecture. I love graphic design. I love interior design. I love books. I love music. I love everything hard. I'm also very big on compliments and support. My friends are always like, you like, you like everything. You're always liking everything, but <laughs> it's actually not like that. If you see something good, like there's no point of saying something good and not complimenting or say that it is good. It doesn't take anything from me. Also, if I think that you are talented, if I like your work, if I like your business, I'm supporting the hell out of you. It's, it's, it's just natural. It just comes natural to me. What did the video say in no competition again? Yes, sir. <laughs> so now you know a little one too about me. I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please leave a comment, like this video, share with your other friends, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. I need to wrap up this video. The sun has come down so i'll see you in another video i love you bye bye a lot of people try to make it more complicated and i think they do that more more only one more more she mm.